Welcome, dear thrill seekers and the curious, to the realm where the ordinary meets the eerie. Join us around the campfire for this next tale if you dare. In the quaint and picturesque town of Nauahuda, nestled not far from the historic city of Krakow, Poland, the late 1990s brought with them a grim and perplexing mystery that would haunt the collective memory of the community for years to come. It all began with the baffling disappearance of a young Polish student, Katarzyna Zawada, a vibrant 23-year-old whose life was about to take a horrifying and tragic turn. Katarzyna was not just an ordinary student, she was enrolled at Jagiellonian University, one of Poland's most prestigious academic institutions. Beneath her cheerful exterior, however, she carried a heavy burden. She had been grappling with depression since the tragic loss of her father in 1996. Her silent battle with mental health had left her friends and family deeply concerned about her well-being. On November 12, 1998, a day that would etch itself into the annals of Nauahuda's history, Katarzyna had a crucial doctor's appointment scheduled at the psychiatric clinic. This appointment was a glimmer of hope, a chance for Katarzyna to seek help for her ongoing struggle with depression. Little did anyone know that it would be the last normal day in her life. As the hours ticked away that fateful November day, Katarzyna failed to appear at the clinic. Her absence triggered immediate alarm among her friends and family, who had been aware of her struggle with depression. Her mother, overwhelmed with worry, hastened to the local police station to file a missing persons report, seeking help in locating her beloved daughter. However, the advice she received was to wait, a decision that would come back to haunt her in the days and weeks that followed. As the days turned into weeks and Katarzyna remained missing, her family's fear and despair grew exponentially. They clung to hope, desperately praying for her safe return, not yet aware that a gruesome revelation was about to shatter their lives. Then, on a bitterly cold winter's day, January 6, 1999, a chilling discovery was made by a sailor aboard a tugboat navigating the nearby river. Something grotesque and utterly out of the ordinary floated ominously on the river's surface, a long, foul-smelling object adorned with pale, spotted human skin. As the sailor inched closer to this macabre find, his horror deepened. He noticed something even more chilling, a human ear was grotesquely attached to this nightmarish object. The implications of this horrifying truth sent shockwaves throughout the entire community. DNA tests confirmed the unimaginable, the detached skin belonged to Katarzyna Zawada. However, this was no ordinary discovery, it hinted at a level of brutality and sadism that defied belief. Katarzyna's remains were not found intact, instead, her skin had been methodically and gruesomely removed, as though she had been subjected to the most unspeakable horror, skin alive. The sheer pain and suffering she endured in her final moments were beyond comprehension, a waking nightmare that had become all too real. The investigation into this grotesque murder proved to be both challenging and perplexing. For 19 agonizing years, the case remained unsolved, leaving the community and Katarzyna's family trapped in a torturous state of uncertainty and fear. Then, in October 2017, a breakthrough occurred that sent shockwaves throughout the town. Polish police apprehended a 52-year-old man named Robert J., a figure who had always managed to elude capture in the past. The evidence against him was compelling, bloodstains found in his apartment's bathroom raised suspicions, and his deeply troubling history added to the growing case against him. Robert J. fit the psychological profile of the perpetrator perfectly. He possessed martial arts training, knew the victim personally, and had even visited Katarzyna's grave, a chilling detail that sent shivers down the spines of investigators. His prior employment in a dissecting lab, where he worked with human corpses, cast an even darker shadow over his involvement. Furthermore, Robert J. had a deeply disturbing history of harassing women, and his employment at the Krakow Institute of Zoology allowed him to witness the process of preparing animal skins, an eerie parallel to the horrifying fate that befell Katarzyna. As the investigation unfolded, it became increasingly apparent that Robert J. was no stranger to the criminal justice system. 
he had been previously implicated in disturbing acts, such as the mass killing of rabbits at the Institute, actions that defied explanation. Despite the mounting evidence against him, Robert J. maintained his innocence, adamantly claiming that he did not know Katarzyna Zawada. The legal proceedings stretched on, and he remained in custody, awaiting trial. However, his story took an unexpected turn when he alleged harassment and insults from prison guards. Authorities, compelled to investigate these claims, found them to be entirely baseless. In response, they have now revealed plans to add charges of lying to the police by falsely accusing prison guards to the already substantial list of charges against him. As of September 2019, Robert J. continues to await trial, while the people of Nawahuda grapple with the trauma of a heinous crime that shattered their peace and scarred their town forever. The mystery of Katarzyna Zawada's gruesome murder serves as a chilling reminder that evil can lurk in the most unexpected places, leaving behind a trail of nightmares that may never fade. The town of Nawahuda, once known for its serenity, will forever bear the scars of a chilling mystery that defies comprehension, as the quest for justice for Katarzyna Zawada continues, leaving no one untouched by its horrors. In the heart of Poland, a community's innocence was forever lost, and a young woman's life ended in the most unimaginable way, a crime that continues to haunt the pages of history and the depths of the human soul. As we draw the curtains on yet another chilling journey into the depths of the unknown, I want to extend my gratitude to all you brave souls who joined us on this expedition. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. You'll be the first to know when we unearth our next chilling chronicle. Until then, stay curious, stay cautious, and never stop exploring the realms of the macabre and the miraculous. Signing off from creepy tales and curiosities. Remember, the night may be dark, but there's always a story waiting to be uncovered. Good night, and pleasant nightmares.